Hi everyone, this is John from Never Center showing you Camera Back 2. And today I just wanted to show you a filter I created for a specific photo and kind of how that process works and then how you can use uh, filters you make, you can save them and use them on other photos. So this is just a photo I took in Seoul that I wanted to play around with and um, I've got several tiles down here which are the filter and I've disabled them all so I can just enable them one at a time and show you what each does. So the first thing I did was to add a little bit of vignette and if you watch the corners of the image you can see how that um, that darkens the corners of the image and and really brings the center a little bit more into focus. Um, and then I use these two styles, uh, Color Cross and Italiano, to, to kind of play with the colors of the image. Again, people uh, tend to think of these as as just preset uh, canned filters, but in camera bag you can use them as subtle color adjustments. So I've got the amount turned way down here uh, to 32, so if I turned it all the way up you can see the effect more strongly. Um, I'll do that. And again, you can remix each of these filters a lot. And so I just I just uh, got this to a place that I wanted it. And then I added the Italiano filter on top of it. And the Italiano filter is nice because it adds several things at once. Again, this is uh, something that would be harder to do in Photoshop because each of these uh, styles, the Color Cross and the Italiano, are actually doing multiple things under the hood. Um, so the Italiano kind of and again I've got this turned really low if I turn it all the way up you'll see it's actually desaturating the image and it's adding some noise and it's doing some other interesting things um, but I've got just a little hint of that in there to kind of almost deaden the colors and give it more of a matte feel and the next thing I've added is actually one of our adjust tools uh, here in this tab which is the multi tool this is really useful because it's just uh, three of the most commonly used uh, adjustments in one, the exposure, the contrast, and the saturation. And what I've done here is just to really emphasize the blacks. This filter is really nice for nighttime I've found, um, but again I was just making it for this uh, image in particular. And So you can see that this really is the finishing touch that, that really brings out the colors and, and gives it a nice nighttime feel. And if I turn all of these on and off at once, you can really see the difference. Um, again, this is more subtle than than maybe a, a, a full-on effect you might find in a filter app is, but uh, when you combine these things, you can really get some nice looks. And the final thing that I did, just to play with this image, is to add this notched border, which I really like. This is one of my favorites. And so after I did this all, I saved this as a favorite filter just by hitting the plus key. And it's here in my favorites. It's called Gritty. Um, and then once you've saved a favorite, you can actually uh, go through your images and see how that applies to other images. So here's a, here's a daytime photo. So that's a quick example of uh, creating a filter in Camera Bag 2. We hope you'll try it out for yourself. You can find it at neverscenter.com slash camera bag and uh, try the free demo. Thanks for watching.